If you're serious about making your own printed circuit boards at home or in a small workshop, having a solid CNC machine can completely change your workflow. That's why I spent the last few months testing out some of the most popular and reliable CNC machines for PCB design, and today I'm going to walk you through my honest experience with each one. All of the machines I mentioned in this video are linked in the description below, so make sure you check them out if something catches your eye. Also, if you enjoy hands-on reviews and want more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Now, let's jump into the list. At number 6, we have the 3020 PRO Max V2. This machine stands out immediately because of how solid it feels. The all-metal construction gives it the kind of weight and rigidity that you usually do not find at this price point. With a working area of 300mm by 200mm by 75mm, it offers just enough space for most standard-sized PCBs. The 500-watt spindle is strong, reliable, and made quick work of the copper boards I tested. What really impressed me was how little vibration I felt during operation, even when I ran the spindle at higher RPMs. I designed and milled a guitar effects board with tight traces and several through-hole components. The machine had no problem handling the job. I did have to spend more time setting it up and making sure the bed was perfectly level, but once that was done, the results were impressive. When I compared it to the Fox Alien Masuda Pro, I noticed the 3020 PRO Max V2 had slightly more precise milling at slower speeds but was not as easy to operate or configure. The pros include strong frame, precise results, and decent spindle. The cons are lengthy setup and bulky size. At number 5 we have the Lunyi 3018 Pro Ultra. This one is what I would call a beginner's best friend. It arrives mostly pre-assembled and uses a simplified control system that lets you jump into your first job without hours of trial and error. The working area is 285mm by 175mm by 45mm, which is perfect for smaller PCBs or learning the ropes. The 500 watt spindle might not seem like much, but in testing it held up better than expected. I milled a small Arduino shield board with it. The traces came out clean, the isolation paths were sharp, and I was even able to switch bits for hole drilling with minimal recalibration. The machine did start to rattle a bit when I cranked up the speed, but slowing it down solved that easily. Compared to the Lun Yi 4040 Turbo, this machine is clearly not meant for production level speed or volume, but its simplicity and accessibility make it great for learners. The pros include user-friendly, affordable, and accurate depth. The cons are lightweight frame and moderate vibration. At number 4, we have the Fox Alien Masuda Pro. This machine has a serious build with serious performance to match. The large working area of 400mm by 300mm by 70mm gave me the ability to process multiple small boards in one pass. The 600 watt spindle was noticeably more powerful than what you usually get in this range. I used it to mill out a complex PCB with multiple ground planes and double-sided features. The machine handled it with ease. I used both standard end mills and V-bit cutters for isolation routing, and the Z-axis depth was consistent across the entire board. The dual Y-axis motor system made a huge difference in stability and helped eliminate chatter on diagonal paths. Compared to the Vivor S4040, I found the Master Pro easier to calibrate and more beginner-friendly, even though the Vivor offered slightly more torque. The pros include high power, wide work area, and stable base. The cons are heavier weight and more expensive. At number 3 we have the Lun Yi 4040 Turbo. The name fits because this machine has serious speed and strength. The working area is a generous 400mm by 400mm, with a build that uses thick aluminum and reinforced supports. This CNC machine was clearly built with strength in mind. It uses a 650 watt spindle and an integrated control box that protects the electronics. I tested it with a set of voltage regulation boards, where accuracy and drill alignment were essential. I ran long production jobs using FR1 material and experienced almost no stalling, shifting, or loss in quality. It was incredibly consistent, even on back-to-back -back runs. 
However, the machine does require a bit more effort during the setup phase. I had to fine-tune the belts and adjust the gantry for squareness before it performed at its best. When I compared it to the Fox Alien Masuder 3S, the Loon Yi had the edge in raw power and rigidity, but the Masuder 3S was more refined in user interface and overall smoothness. The pros include powerful spindle, sturdy build, and large workspace. The cons are harder setup and heavy body. At number 2 we have the Fox Alien Masuder 3S. This model is basically an evolution of the Masuder Pro and brings some smart upgrades to the table. The machine offers a clean 400mm by 400mm working area with a rigid frame and improved linear bearings. What I liked immediately was how quiet it runs, even at high speeds. It also has improved stepper drivers that prevent overheating, which is great if you are running long PCB jobs. I put it through its paces by cutting a microcontroller-based home automation board with over 30 drill points and high-density routing. The performance was excellent. Each trace was uniform and I did not have to adjust depth between cuts. The touchscreen interface is another big plus. It made it easier for me to jog the machine, load files, and run tool changes. Compared to the Lunyi 3018 Pro Ultra, the Masuda 3S felt like a high-end professional tool with a smooth and polished workflow. The pros include modern design, quiet operation, and precise motion. The cons are higher price and large footprint. At number one, we have the Viver S4040. This machine impressed me more than I expected. With a work area of 400 mm by 400 mm by 80 mm, it gives you more depth for those taller boards or layered PCBs. What sets it apart is the 700 watt spindle, which gives it more cutting power than any other machine on this list. During my test, I decided to push it harder by using double-sided copper-clad material and milling out a board with multiple layers, ground fills, and lots of detailed paths. The results were stunning. It performed as if I was using a much more expensive industrial machine. The motor never bogged down, and the movement stayed accurate across the whole surface. I did spend extra time setting up the software and configuring the post-processing scripts, which were a little trickier than the other machines. When I compared it to the 3020 PRO Max V2, the Viva produced faster jobs and deeper cuts, but I would not recommend it for total beginners due to the steeper software learning curve. The pros include highest power, professional finish, and large area. The cons are complex software and steeper learning. If this video helped you find the right CNC machine for your PCB work, please consider subscribing. I put a lot of time into testing these machines to make sure you get honest, real-world advice. All the products I mentioned are linked in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.